All right, we are live, Copy Squad. Welcome to part three of the Quantum Tracker. What we covered at the end of the last one is this claim about how the system works. He kind of explained the different quadrants, one, two, three, and four, and then he kind of gave us examples of it working in action, which would be the proof, proof, and then proof again. So he's got the, uh, the, the four quadrants explained here. He gives them labels. And then he's recalling all these examples from experience. This isn't back-tested stuff. So I marked up uh, areas where we see a lot of, you know, first-person uh, recall. I, I read, I thank my lucky stars, I was handed this much money, uh, I collected, right? Okay, I had already gotten out with my profit, okay? And what's important about this is I feel like this is a bit of a departure from common copywriting practice where we always put the reader in the driver's seat. Instead, we're putting the reader in the passenger seat to follow along on this dude's journey, which I feel like makes the character and his claims more three-dimensional and authentic because he's not promising you that you'll do this or make this or you know that kind of stuff. He's Instead of making that promise, he's simply demonstrating his results, which I feel like is a way, way more powerful and way, way more convincing because... It's, it's showing and not telling. A promise is telling someone something, and then you try to show them examples to prove it, but this dude is straight up showing you the stuff that he's done, what he's been through, and how is he, he's accumulated uh, these wins, these earnings, and, and just kind of stuff like that for himself. So once he tallied up all this stuff, altogether, that's 1,304% gains on three stocks over the span of seven days. That's enough to turn every 5,000 into 70,000 each week. Now this is a classic dollar reframe, and I've talked about this before, but I think it bears repeating. You need to do a dollar reframe which creates imagery, because your brain cannot wrap itself around percentages. Your brain cannot visualize and comprehend data, so it has no emotional appeal. The classic example I like to use is from the psychology uh, experiment that actually demonstrated this. And the experiment was uh, two groups of people and uh, you know, there's group A and group B. And group A was told there's a vaccine that'll prevent uh, a deadly virus, but 0.01% of uh, children who are given this vaccine, right? It's a, it's a children's vaccine. There's a vaccine you administer for children and 0.01% of children who get the vaccine will be permanently disabled, okay? Now, compare that example, right? 0.01% of children who get the vaccine will be permanently disabled to me saying there's a vaccine that prevents a deadly disease and one out of 10,000 children will be permanently disabled. Uh, and in the study, they found that whenever you label it 1 out of 10,000 and you give it some sort of imagery, you give it an instance, right, an uh, 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 instance of 1, all of a sudden, the people who objected to that vaccine shot through the roof comparatively. And people who were told 0.01%, uh, they really didn't oppose the vaccine at all. So that's why whenever you're given these gains and percentages, it behooves you to turn them into dollars and cents in some way. Something that I can imagine $5,000, I can imagine $70,000, I cannot imagine, I can't picture what 1,300% He just took all these guys, uh, he took, wow, he, it's, he took all of this. All right, the greats, right? So these guys are great. All right, and then Wow, this is really powerful, what he implies here. But I'm better than. Okay? I think it's very important to note, in the better than sections, it doesn't work. The better than section does not work unless you're specifically saying you're better than the best thing. Um, earlier we talked about a better than section in, in part two. So. Earlier we covered a better than section and what they targeted was this is safer than the safest thing. And the safest thing is blue chip stocks. Like they're the ones that are supposed to like quote quote last forever and always go up over time, right? And he says, nope, those are the very best safest bets and this is better than that. It, it works better. So you choose the giants, okay? You gotta be better than the giants. If you're better than something mediocre, it doesn't matter. So if you come back down here, he did the exact same thing, except uh, I think this is even more powerful. I feel like this is just a, 
This is just like a ballsy claim. He named the greats and people he even learned from, right? He, he called out his mentors and he said, yeah, they're great. I learned a lot from them, but I'm better than them. Okay, so that's a really powerful claim. I know, I know. Some folks have made a lot of money as value investors. Everybody loves Warren Buffett. He's the Oracle of Omaha. He's the greatest value investor in modern history. Yet over the last 10 years, he has averaged a 10% return. Okay, so he just called out Warren Buffett and said he's better than Buffett. All right, cool. Uh, if you have billions of dollars at your disposal, you're probably happy making 10% on your money. But what if you aren't one of the richest men in the world? Are you willing to patiently wait 20 or 30 years for those value investments to pay off? You don't have to anymore. So wow, that's huge. Better than Buffett. Uh, not very many people have the balls to even sign off on that copy, <laughs> but he kind of did, and I think it's because uh, he's able to say that Buffett's slow because he has so much money. That's enough money to turn every 5000 into 54000 okay? And this is just a reframe that we talked about earlier where we're taking it from percentage to dollars, makes it visual, and being more visual more powerful okay the jolt was so extreme you could have made 2400 percent overnight no different from turning 5,000 into 125,000 with that kind of money you could build a professional grade surround sound 20 seat movie theater in your home so this is two reframes right and they, they actually did take it so we got percent to dollars and then like we said the dollars are more visual an actual visual complete with picture because the more visual the more powerful so they took it from percent to dollar to an actual visual what's up copy squad i hope you enjoyed this sneak peek into the copy squad inner circle when you become a copy squad inner circle member you'll get access to bi-weekly ongoing copywriting training that'll include deep dives on certain copywriting techniques and sales letter breakdowns You'll also get access to bi-weekly copy review conference calls with me and other writers and marketers in a group setting. You can bring your ideas, headlines, leads, copy, whatever you want to bring in, and we can look at all of it together and get feedback from other professionals. You'll also get access to expert guests who will be providing uh, specialized training from their experience. These are pros. These are people who can lend everybody some new insight into something that they're very specifically specialized and an expert at. So it's very valuable stuff in there. You'll also get access to the private Copy Squad community. This is a great place just to chat with other professional writers, bounce ideas, and talk through your copy together. Lastly, you'll also get a discounted access to any upcoming masterminds or workshops that I'll be hosting. Thanks so much for tuning in, and I hope you'll join us on the Copy Squad Inner Circle.